was a YouTuber that filmed a whole video saying that my wife was actually my mother, like that I was married to my mother. <laughs> I noticed in one of your videos that the scars on your arm were visible again. How are you feeling? Were you ever insecure about your body? Because I'm really insecure about myself. Hold on, just one more bite and then I'm gonna start answering the questions you sent me on Instagram. They're very personal as always. <laughs> Hi sweeties, welcome back to the channel. I am feeling like a little sun fairy <laughs> with this outfit and this yellow butterfly hair clips. But if I said butterfly funny. Butterfly. I am so used to having pink hair and uh, every other crazy color that <laughs> I find it weird to be blown. Like, I feel I look so innocent and pure. <laughs> like a little blonde angel. <laughs> These butterfly hair clips are so Y2K. <laughs> and I actually had them, you know, in the early 2000s when I was a kid. I had butterfly hair clips like this. So to me, that's very nostalgic. And I bought like a whole pack of 50 butterfly hair clips in every single color because I wanted to feel how I felt in the early 2000s, which was happy because I was a kid and I didn't have any problems. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> today's video is gonna be a Q&A slash mukbang slash hangout with me slumber party type of video. I've been really enjoying filming this type of thing. I have found new motivation to film and to get up in the morning really since I started doing this kind of video again because it's just my favorite thing to do and it's it feels very genuine and it's just something like that comes from the bottom of my heart and it's just so nice to just sit down and hang out with you without like a big production or anything. I hope you're not minding it. <laughs> I think you're enjoying it too because I've been getting good feedback from this video so while you're still enjoying it I am gonna carry on doing it because it's it's just been great for me and my mental health and everything just to have these chats with you. It really helps. It sounds silly, but it does really help and makes me feel better. And I hope it makes you feel good in some way, you know, whether you're eating dinner with me and you feel like you've got some company or, you know, if you just need something to occupy your mind and you want to listen to my weird ass voice. <laughs> So yeah, I, I hope these videos make you happy in some way. <laughs> okay, so before we start, please subscribe and activate the notifications so you know when I post a new video. And of course, you can follow me on Instagram for amazing photos that are totally gonna change your life. And also please give us a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between, and welcome to Julia Zelg News. Today we have a very important announcement. I've just found the best shampoo and conditioner on the planet! Ah! <laughs> Today's video has been proudly sponsored by the wonderful True Hair Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. I genuinely love True Hair's products. They're so good and they allow you to create a hair salon look in the comfort of your home. And the Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner are amazing. I have been testing them for the last couple of weeks and my hair has never felt this luscious. I mean, you can see right? You can see that it's shining and everything. That's quite an achievement for my hair because I've bleached it multiple, multiple times. I've had every hair color under the sun and still it looks this healthy and shiny and that's thanks to testing this beautiful beautiful product and the way i use it is just you know normal when i'm showering i just put on the conditioner then i rinse it i towel dry my hair and then i apply the conditioner leave it on for about three minutes while i'm like doing everything else one has to do in the shower <laughs> and that's it like i haven't put anything else on and look look how shiny it is i'm, I'm kind of shocked <laughs> 
And basically the reason why it works is because it has this component called triprotein that is made of rice, quinoa and wheat and that helps give your hair a little more volume. And it also has this other component called Inula HC. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but basically that helps keep your color, you know, if you dye your hair like me. <laughs> and it helps your hair be like brighter and shinier, which I can really, really see. True Hair has so many amazing products. I have tested some of them before. And this shampoo and conditioner are their newest launch. So it's all very exciting. And right now you can use my discount code that is in the video description and click on that link to check them out and get a very nice discount. <laughs> Thank you so much True Hair for supporting my channel and now I will let you get back to the video. Good evening. Oh, cool. So today I am gonna be eating some instant noodles. The one I chose is the pot noodle and the flavor is called chicken and mushroom but I promise you it's not real chicken, it's vegetarian. It has the vegetarian logo at the back, it's not real chicken. And this is not an ad in any way. <laughs> I wish they were sponsoring me, Jesus Christ. Pot noodle, please sponsor me. But I've been addicted to this shit for around eight years. Since I moved to London, I've been addicted to this because it's just so practical and it's, it's delicious. I love it. Is it good for you? No, it's not good for you, but I'm addicted. Oh, mm. oh this is so good, I'm so hungry. I had dinner already, I don't know what the I'm hungry. It is four o'clock in the morning though, so I had dinner at a normal hour, so that's why I'm hungry. <laughs> mm, tomorrow morning I'm gonna have dental surgery. Do you want me to film that? You're not gonna watch this by the morning to answer me, but so, so I'm just gonna go ahead and film that. And then I'll do a veneer update and tell you like all my teeth stuff if you're interested. <laughs> Hold on, just one more bite and then I'm gonna start answering the questions you sent me on Instagram. They're very personal as always. <laughs> That's how I like it. Mm. I'm sorry, I really don't mean to be gross. Okay, the first question is, were you ever insecure about your body? Because I'm really insecure about myself. Was I ever insecure about my body? <laughs> Not only was I insecure about my body before, I am currently still insecure about my body to be completely honest. I mean, I'm not the most confident person really, like when it comes to things like that. And um, people usually think I'm super confident because I do social media and I'm always like posing and doing stuff like that. But that's kind of like my way of getting over it. But really, I'm not very confident at all. <laughs> mm, this is so good. The way I think about confidence, but maybe I'm saying this because I'm not a confident person, but it's kind of like fake it till you make it. Kind of like pretend you're confident and act like you're confident and then one day you, you actually feel like that. I noticed in one of your videos that the scars on your arm were visible again. How are you feeling? Oh, I've actually been meaning to address that because I got a few comments a couple of videos ago. I'm not sure what's gonna go up first. I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this, but I filmed a video in which people could kind of like see my SH scars more than usual. And that was because I forgot to cover them with makeup <laughs> for that video because usually I put a little bit of concealer on top and uh, not to freak anyone out, not to trigger anyone and uh, for my own sake as well for me to be less self-conscious about it because it, you know it's a difficult thing you don't want people to be seeing it all the time but I forgot to do that for that video and uh, some people thought that I was doing that again and that they were new ones but no they are the same ones from the summer, that they still appear kind of red because it was... Sorry, it's too much detail, I hope that doesn't trigger anyone. But they were kind of deep, so they are still not like... They haven't gone white or they haven't disappeared yet. But they are not new ones, I haven't done that since the summer and hopefully I'll never do that again in my life. But yeah, so don't worry, they're not new, I just forgot to put makeup on them, that's why they were showing more <laughs> than usual. Uh, on that video. I'm sorry about that. And uh, in terms of like my mental health in general, I am actually 
doing better. Oh, no, don't want to speak too soon, but I, in the last couple of weeks, I have been actually feeling a lot better. And um, one of the reasons is the different approach I am taking to my channel. I am being a lot more just, you know, let's sit down and talk. It doesn't matter if I'm not looking great. It, nothing matters. I, I just want to sit down and talk. I um, haven't been like freaking myself out trying to be perfect or anything or trying to come up with something that's gonna go viral or anything like that. I'm just being myself and sitting down and talking to you and being consistent. And that really like makes a huge difference for me because that's a very important part of my life. And uh, in addition to that, you know, going to therapy and all that is really helping. And I've recently been doing something, I think I've mentioned something like that before, but um, I've been taking it to another level <laughs> recently. I've been trying to take care of myself as if I were my child. Because sometimes it's difficult to have like self-love and to care for yourself the way you would care for others. So I find it helpful to kind of think of myself as someone else or as a child and be like, you know, you need to do this now, you need to eat, you need to exercise, you need to do your work and uh, tell myself to do that. And I kind of had this mindset before, like a while ago, but now I've been literally, <laughs> I mean, it sounds funny, but it's been helping. I've been literally talking to myself as if I were a kid and saying, oh, you have to do this now. Like, I'm telling you, you have to get out of bed you have to do this and then once I do it I'm like oh well done you did really well today and I just have these conversations with myself sounds really silly but it has really been helping more than anything else and in the last couple of weeks I managed to be productive to go to the gym to do my work get out of bed shower <laughs> you know all these normal things that one is supposed to do but it's difficult to do when you're depressed so yeah i've been i've been doing a little better yay <laughs> i still need to eat a little healthier obviously i mean i'm having instant noodles but i mean I'm not trying to be perfect or anything would you do a matching tattoo with your wife? We already have a matching tattoo. We have a little heart. I don't know if I would get more tattoos. I think not for now. This one is enough for now. <laughs> would you rather... That's a funny question. Would you rather have a million dollars or a lifetime supply of Botox? <laughs> a million dollars, of course. Botox is not that expensive. There's no way I would use up a million dollars worth of Botox in a lifetime. Botox is not that expensive. <laughs> What's your favorite cocktail? Oh, I'm gonna be very boring and say gin and tonic, but it is the truth. But there are so many like variations of gin and tonic to make it more interesting. There's this place I like to go to in London called Sticks and Sushi. It's a restaurant and they do this gin and tonic that changes color from pink to purple or purple to blue, something like that. So cool. <laughs> what is one thing you dislike about yourself and one you love? I dislike that I'm addicted to instant noodles. <laughs> no, seriously. I dislike that I'm too quick to love and trust people. And sometimes I get like f***ed in the ass. Not literally because of that. <laughs> For, you know, being too nice, not saying no, trusting too much, loving too much too soon. Things like that. Yeah, that's that's always been a bit of a problem. <laughs> and one thing that I like about myself is that I am very, very determined and hardworking. So when I want something, I really, really fight for it. And I, yeah, I'm just really, really determined like that. <laughs> what do you think about your partner watching porn? <laughs> I never caught my wife watching porn and we never... I don't, we don't, don't think we ever watched porn together, but I wouldn't have a problem at all. I think watching porn and masturbating are all very normal and healthy things. And you should be able to like watch something and do something to yourself without someone being bothered about it. Like we are together, but we don't own each other like that. I wouldn't mind at all if she wants to watch porn, she can go for it. Don't mind at all. To me, that's like watching a movie, except it's sexy. <laughs> I wonder what she would think. I'm, I'm sure she would say the same. I don't think she would have a problem with me watching porn, would she? Oh, she's asleep. I'm not gonna wake her up to ask... <laughs> to ask if I can watch porn. 
How are you doing in terms of spirituality? Mm, I don't talk about this stuff much here. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I think I'm not very knowledgeable. So I don't want to give anyone wrong information or anything. I don't know. But if you're just asking about like me and my experience. I am a Buddhist lady. I have been for about nine years. So I chant and uh, in addition to that, I've recently in the last year or so, I started practicing a little bit of witchcraft. I mean, I, I do very basic things like I have crystals and I do like cleansing baths and light candles, you know, I'm very much a beginner, but I do enjoy that very much. And I have a few friends who are into that too. And we have a little coven and we meet every full moon. It's lovely, it's like a wonderful part of my life, but I am very much a beginner, so I feel not ready to talk too much about it on YouTube because I don't wanna like accidentally give anyone wrong information or say shit that isn't right or... But yeah, I, I enjoy that too. Are you making music videos for your new album? Yes, I am. I'm currently in touch with a videographer and with a choreographer exciting exciting and we're working on it not sure when it's gonna be filmed and when it's gonna be ready hopefully by the end of the year or beginning of next year but it's gonna happen stay tuned it's gonna be for my song therapy because y'all seem to prefer that song out of the new ones Yee, exciting exciting and i'm also recording some covers yeah there will be more music stuff i know i always keep promising this but there will be more music stuff now that I'm starting to feel better, I'll, I'll get there eventually. Because <laughs> that's, you know, that's my whole thing. That's my main thing. That's why I studied and everything. Love music. And I, I want to focus more on that for sure. That's my goal for 2022. <laughs> There's this guy that every single time I tell you on Instagram to send me questions. He always asks if I had my feet sucked. <laughs> what the f***? And I already answered it. So I'm not gonna answer again. Stop asking me that now, enough. <laughs> what is your favorite crystal? Oh, it is, oh, hold on. It is this one. It's a black tourmaline and it is a protection crystal. Yeah, I always focus on protection a lot because it makes me feel less, less anxious to be protected. And it's also like something that is safe to do as a beginner. Do you ever black out when you drink? No, 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 no. I maybe blacked out like twice in my life. I mean, by blacking out, you mean not remembering anything, right? Not just throwing up and stuff, right? <laughs> Probably only blacked out twice in my life when I was younger. I don't drink huge amounts of alcohol. I drink kind of often, like I enjoy having a glass of wine with dinner type of thing quite often, but I don't get like super hammered all the time or anything like that. Mm. No, no. Feeling like Trisha Paytas. How do you react to people who make videos about you and your relationship? Oh my god! <laughs> there was a YouTuber a month or so ago, I think, that filmed a whole video saying that my wife was actually my mother, like that I was married to my mother. <laughs> And it was quite a big YouTuber. So I started getting all these comments saying, oh, I'm okay with you being gay. I'm okay with the age difference, but you can't marry your mother. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that would be really crazy. Except she's not my mother. What the heck? Like, why would anyone think she's my mother just because she's older? I mean, we don't look alike. We're from different countries. We have different accents. We are married. <laughs> like, why would anyone think that? And uh, Jesus, people will post anything for views. It's it's crazy. So, I mean, obviously I don't like it. It's not nice to see that people are making stuff up about you or just commenting bad things about you. Of course, it's not pleasant, but uh, I just try to think of it as just like a little downside of doing YouTube, but it's worth it because there are so many other things that are so positive. Like one of them, the, the main one being you guys and this wonderful friendship that we have that's worth so much more than some idiots posting some shit so <laughs> so whatever it doesn't matter of course it's uncomfortable but water off a duck's back <laughs> mm. 
so good oh crrr. so that's gonna be it for today i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed hanging out and having dinner with me <laughs> i don't know if you're watching this at dinner time but i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments also if you have any video suggestions and i'll do my best to film them as long as it's not inappropriate <laughs> thank you so much for watching and have a very very lovely day Mwah.